Welcome to Awning Composer version 5 Tips and Tricks. This video is a quick overview of the new estimation feature in Awning Composer. To get started with estimation, click the black arrow on the right side of the main window to open the estimation panel. Make sure you have at least one dynamic object in the scene. The estimation feature only works with dynamic objects. Here, I'll bring in a traditional awning and change its dimensions. You can see as I change the dimensions, the extrusion lengths and joints change as well. The estimate is automatically updated when you make changes to an object's dimensions and other parameters. There are five tabs in the estimation panel. Each tab has the same basic structure. First, there are some common settings at the top of every tab. You can choose which object in the scene you want to estimate set a quantity for an object, and then choose whether or not you want to view detailed estimation results. Next, you'll find the estimation results. These results are shown in the text boxes with gray backgrounds. The gray background indicates that you can't type in that box, but you can select the text and copy it to the clipboard if you like. Finally, there's an option section at the bottom of each tab where you can set options that control how the estimate is calculated. In order to get an accurate estimate, you need to set these options according to the details of the job and how your shop works. These options have default values that offer a good starting point, but it's very important to review each option and make any necessary changes. You can also set your own default value for an option by clicking on the name of the option. Some of the most important options are located in the cost tab. These include fabric cost, extrusion cost, labor rate, and overhead factor. Note that if you hover the mouse over the text in the blue section, there's a detailed description for each option. For example, in the cost tab, if I hover the mouse over shop labor slash rate per hour, I see wholesale shop labor rate. This includes salary and benefits, but no overhead or profit. Once you've reviewed the option values and you've set the dimensions for your awning, you can go to the quote tab to get a retail price for the awning. Once you're in the quote tab, you'll see the description of your awning, total price, and installed price. If you check has price breakdown, you'll see the price breakdown for fabric, frame, and labor. In the options section here, you can add sales tax, installation, and mileage by checking the boxes and customizing the figure. We have some blanket additional charges boxes. These can include rentals or traffic cops. You're also able to apply a discount here. Once your quote tab is finished, go to the file tab, then press print and open sample quote layout. You'll see as you open the layout, everything you specified in your quote is updated here. We recommend you customize this quote with your company's address and logo, then save as a layout for future use. To learn more about estimation feature, see the estimation section in the user guide. Don't forget to stay updated with Awning Composer on Facebook. www.facebook.com backslash Awning Composer.